hello uh, welcome to March's video um, sorry it's been a couple of three weeks yeah about three weeks since my last video been very busy um, I was actually going to do a, a, a big unboxing video but the um, the actual box <laughs> is uh, still in UK customs it's been over a month now um, I can't if I'm honest, I can't see me getting it. Uh, I'm sure someone's there uh, at customs with their feet up, pipe in hand, working their way through my uh, my tobacco. Just one of those things, you know. Um, uh, we are looking into it, um, but yeah, what can you say, really? Uh, I did call Parcel Force to see if they they think it's lost. They don't even know. Um, and then in the next breath they say it's with customs. So uh, it's being looked into anyway. If it ever arrives, I will do the unboxing video. Um, rather annoying, yes. But uh, not overly surprising. So I'm smoking this. It's going to have a very good clean out in a minute. And I'll tell you why. Um, it's an Astley's pipe made for them by Dunhill in the 1980s. It's a lovely pipe, big bowl, nearly finished. It smokes everything well, nice bit of grain. Um, and in it, I'm smoking this, which is Rattray's uh, exotic orange or. Uh, I think it's not called that now, is it? Exotic passion, it's called. The word orange is the um, is is the word they can't use anymore. It's silly, isn't it? Really, uh, they they think it'll entice children into smoking a pipe. Um, I can't see that happening personally. Uh, it is it, it's very hard to get an adult <laughs> into pipe smoking, let alone a child. They're much more likely to pick up a vape um, or um, you know some uh, a, a roll up or something they're not going to smoke a pipe but anyway anyway Rattray's exotic orange it's one of the only aromatics I like I think I like probably about five aromatics lane 1q uh, this I guess the Lakeland florals I don't. I think they're in a different category um, because they're. It's a Lakeland essence, isn't it? Um, well, as aromatics, encompass lots of different flavors and uh, toppings and casings and things. But this has got a casing. Um, it's very very nice. It's uh, it's like an orange caramel and. The bit I like about it, it reminds me of black tea, um, <clears throat> and if you've had that, that's quite a strong, dark tea. Um, it's very, very pleasant. It can half bite if you're not careful. I tend to pack these quite tight and um, don't puff on it too hard, basically, else you're going to burn your tongue. Um, but once you've got it right, it's a really very pleasant smoke. I smoked some of this. It was perfect. It was Wednesday. It was my day off. And the sun was out. I was sat in the garden with a big bowl of exotic orange. I could have been with my feet up in uh, in Spain. or uh, I could, uh, you know, on a beach somewhere with my eyes closed. It was very, very pleasant. And... Um, it's a lovely flavour. So that's what I've been smoking today mainly. And a few bowls of that. I started off with some um, G&H rum flake. Um, I've decided I'm getting 500 grams of that. Um, I'm probably going to sell her most of it, I would have thought. Uh, also want to get some G&H dark flake. Uh, a big quantity of that. Um, I got this the other week. This was um, on the UK Pipe and Tobacco Club. 
uh, for £12, which uh, was in the draw. It's Gallagher's Mellow Virginia. I've put it in this uh, vacuum pack because it's quite old. It's from 19, about the nine, early 90s, I think. And I'm worried it's dry. I, I don't think it is, though, feeling inside. Uh, it's not crunchy. It feels like it's got a little bit of moisture. But I've sealed it in that and I've, I've put a Vida pack in the back of it. And, um, you know, I don't I might leave it a little while before I smoke it. It will get smoked, but it's uh, quite an old one. Um, yeah, Gallagher's Mellow Virginia. Very nice, very nice. I like Virginia tobaccos with a bit of age on, so I wonder what will happen with this one. Still got the um, Royal Warrant as far as I can see. Can't see it, can't read it. Never mind. Um, I got also some Peter Hendricks uh, Special Curly. Now, Johnny, um, he's quite right. He said this this is just the Curly Block, which is a long, usually comes in a 250 gram um, uh, block, not block, it's like a huge sausage. <laughs> um, all this is is that sliced so this is basically curly block sliced and it's called special curly um, that's lovely that's really really very nice tin description uh, Virginia and Perique spun into a twist and discs sliced it's very slow burning with a classic Virginia flavour um, I'd agree with that 100 grams of that, I've been working my way through that. That's very nice, I've got one of these for the seller as well. The other one I bought was this one, which is the Dark Strong. Not overly, well, I do like it, but it's um, it's Black Cavendish and Virginia pressed into flakes. It's very nice, it's very nice. I, you know, it's not a bad t tobacco at all. Um, it's just not quite as nice as the um, the the, uh, the curly, but yeah, nice. Comes in a like a paint style tin. Um, yeah, so very good. Hundred grams of that as well. The main thing I've been smoking is this. Uh, really like it. Van Roosem's. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Troost slices. You used to be able to get these in the UK and in America. Um, I think you can only get these now in Holland. Um, I'm sure they, yeah, I'm sure they're just available in the Netherlands. They're very, very nice. Uh, a Virginia burly flake with a very nice, subtle, um, kind of uh, sweet topping on it but it's it's not overpowering at all and um, you can really taste the Virginias and the Burley nice nutty flavour and that sweet hay I could smoke it I have been smoking it all day um, I bought this from um, Hartman Cigars online they're based in the Netherlands can't get it outside the Netherlands uh, I'm afraid you can get the true aromatic in the UK. That's horrible. Really, really not nice. You want to look for that if you're going to buy them. It says, if you can see it, original recipe. Um, yeah, it's made, made in Denmark by the Scandinavian Tobacco Group, specifically um, for the Netherlands market. And that's, that's why you've got that on there. So I've got I think I've got five of these actually. And <clears throat> last but last but not least, I've bought uh, a few of these. Um, <clears throat> put this one in the um, in the vacuum seat, uh, pack. Wessex Gold Brick Virginia Plug, which is a lovely uncut plug. 
um, really high quality Virginias. It's a nice big size brick, 100 grams. The flavour is incredible, um, even better if you can cellar it, which um, you might find hard. I've bought a couple of them, so I'll be able to. Uh, I believe this is only available in Germany and in the States, but it's very hard to find in the States. So if you've got a source in Germany, especially pre-Brexit, <laughs> now is probably the time to order. Uh, I was thinking of doing that with a lot of Dan Tobacco um, uh, tobaccos <laughs> and um, some more Wessex actually because... Uh, you know, I, I would have thought we'd be okay with the uh, customs agreement, but you never know, do you? You don't. We're as sure as the government are at the moment, and they're pretty unsure about everything. <laughs> so Wessex Gold Brick Virginia plug, hundred grams, very nice indeed. Um, so yes, that's it really. Uh, when my I've, Brought three actually, three, three orders from two different places. When they come through, I'll make another video. Um, when my Dagna pipe comes back from Mike at Blake Mar, I'll also make another video. Um, I've had a nightmare. If, you, if you're on Facebook with me, um, you'll probably know about my Dagna experience, which. Uh, Turned out to be an awful experience, but no one was hurt. There was a lot of glue involved. The uh, <laughs> the pipe is living at the moment at Blake Marbriars in Lichborough, um, where Mike is basically making me a new stem and a new brass band for it because I destroyed the old one. Not partly not my fault though. The actual band fell off. I hadn't had the thing more than 48 hours and um, a couple of, you know, minor, you know, uh, complaints, let's say, about the actual pipe. But there you go. Um, yeah, there we go. So, I hope you all have a really good Sunday. It's, uh, that was my phone. It's Saturday. Uh, I'm going to cook dinner in a minute and... Uh, Put my feet up and uh, have a very pleasant Sunday. And I hopefully I'll speak to you in the next week or two weeks. Um, I really appreciate all your messages and really nice comments on my videos. I've, you know, I'm really lucky. Appreciate that. So thank you and um, have a very peaceful Sunday. Cheers, guys. All the best.